No uh, way. This is one way the rats could be getting inside your house. We say to people all the time, where the pipes and your sewerage and wires and gas and pipes and things like that, they have to go through what's called a lintel underneath your walls. And the lintel is a bridge in the foundations. Is this that. is the lintel. That's the lintel, that concrete post there. Okay. On this occasion though, what's happening, this building, that might actually be a big concrete slab that the whole building's been built on because the rats on this one were coming from above ground, which believe me is rare. They're nearly always coming out of a sewer, but on this one, they're coming above ground, down and underneath. And you'll usually find it's in conjunction where you've got these meter boxes outside because the rats have learned whenever those are, there's a lintel nearby. And that means they can go burrowing down and underneath. We're gonna show you how we solve this though. That's what I was just saying. And here's the lintel. And there's the rat hole going underneath. Look. You can see it there, and that goes right underneath this block of flats. And here we are, Rick. You can see here, this is how it should look at the side of your meters, look. So it should look like that. So the meters should be sat in something. You can actually see, look, if you look there and you use a little bit of imagination, you can see a rat run going right round that wall, where it's like slightly divoted down, as we're always saying, where the rats follow exactly the same route all the time. But then if we look at this one next to it, look, look in there. It's all clean and yeah. And if you look down the back as well, yeah, look how spotless it is. There's no leaves, no twigs, no cobwebs, and even there's even a rat hole appeared here since last week. Look. Yeah. So clever clogs, ain't they? Not for much longer though. Not for much longer. Wow. So what you found down there, Rick? A rat's nest. Wow. They've dragged, I don't know where they've got That's the rats from. come from all above ground in these lovely bushes that they put around every new building there is. They collect all the rubbish and that's where the nesting materials come from. I'm kind of scared from. to keep putting my hand in there. It's getting deeper and deeper, that hole. Look at this, there are leaves. leaves. How have leaves ended up down there? Yeah, there's a nest down there, isn't there? Wow. <laughs> no yeah. way. In that's fact, madness. You might as well carry on recording this because I think there's going to be something... Running out of there in a minute. Well, I hope not. <laughs> we'll see Ricky move as fast as he's ever moved if something does. Because look, there's your lintel, yeah. and there's your concrete, your, your blocks for foundation. Yeah, there's the foundation block, put them again. That, that's your foundation blocks, they'll be on concrete when you've got this lintel here. And that's where they're getting in and out. Yeah, because the building. No. Into people's kitchens. I've got a funny feeling we're going to find a pipe here because there's loads of pea shingle already down there. Yeah. And we know that they've put pea shingle around pipes. Yeah. So I've got a feeling, once we've got this soil and all this nesting material off, there might be a pipe there. Or there might just be a water pipe. Could be something as simple as that, but... Or it could just be a lintel. Yeah. Might be nothing going in it, mate. Well, the way these new builds are built, it wouldn't surprise me. I'll just me. show what I've been doing here. So we're just showing you these gas meters outside. And you can see that little tunnel that was right there, it actually goes down there. It looks like it's going in that direction. Not for much longer though. <laughs> should that be my catchphrase? I think it should. We'll get you a t-shirt with that on. <laughs> <laughs> not for much longer, Chris. <laughs> no, not, much for, not for much longer though. We'll get that on a t-shirt. So there we are then. There's, there's the lintel that we're always talking to our customers about. There's the lintel. That's where the rats have been getting in. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut some, uh, some small enough wire mesh and we're going to put that across there and up the wall. And then we're going to fill it back in, not with this shingle that's already in here, because that's too big. It's going to be this shingle, which is the small stuff. 10 mil. 10 mil and smaller. If you want to know why we use that size shingle and not the bigger shingle, keep watching our videos. Mesh in place. Up the wall, a good uh, 10, 12 inches up the wall and away from the wall. So otherwise they'll burrow around it. And now the next bit. This is literally just round the corner where you saw that little rat run coming from the uh, gas meters. Which is this corner. That rat run comes round here and look what we found here. So we've got some more holes. Interestingly, right next to, right next to the holes, we found this. And this is either wall insulation or put under the concrete slabs of the building as insulation. And they've been pulling that out as well. And rather, because there, there's another, another bit of bad builders. Like, oh, hey. Another bit of bad builders. There's another big hole straight under the cavity there, look. 
And then there's that hole there, which is obvious. Yeah. And just while I'm on it, I don't know why everyone who builds apartments and things like that, they put this horrible stuff that's full of spikes and um, I don't know why they do it because all it does is make harbourages for rats. Seriously. Because what happens is all the uh, the litter and things like that gets stuck in here and then they pull it down into their holes and they use that for making their nests. And it's bloody awful stuff to be working around. It took as long to do this as it has to dig the holes. It's really stupid really because uh, to repair this, you're just making everyone's life a nightmare if you ever had to get down here to no, unblock even, anything. They don't even look nice, do they? No. It's like, why, why do they, does everywhere? You could have just used a laurel bush instead. Yeah. Yeah, or just don't put no trees up the side of your house. That would be a brilliant <laughs> idea. That's really a good way to get any kind of pest into your house and you don't want that, do you? I'm going to get digging this now, Rick. I'll go and get some more gravel. Get some more gravel. Okay, Rick. Yeah. Fill it up. 10 mil gravel. Remember that, 10 mil. 10 it looks mil. like we're going to need one more bag. Yeah. One more bag in that. We're going to need a couple more bags around the side, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Because we like to finish the job off nicely, which we will do. You can just show the people that one as well. Oh yeah. It's all been filled and this in. one's all been done. So we've dug underneath that and all around the back, and all around the back, and now we've pre-shingled in there as well. There's no lintel underneath those, so we don't need to dig down quite as deep because that hole, remember, was joined to this, which was joined to that lintel. And annoyingly for us, it's also the same tribe of rats that are coming down the edge of there and into there which I'm going to start digging out now. There we go then. Even though it's out the way, we always believe in doing a nice, neat job. No rats burying from above, down and under the, the pan of this house. Just remember though, that's a rarity. That's a rarity. They're nearly always coming from the sewers. But you can try this first. So there you go then. Uh, this is a rarity, like I keep saying in this video. In 15 years of doing this, really, it's only ever on new builds we find this. It's only, it's only really ever on new builds that we find rats that are living above ground, going underneath. And it's because of the design of the buildings and the poor quality of the buildings that were built when modern buildings were built. So we never really see this on Victorian buildings, Edwardian buildings, only on modern ones. But if you really want to see where the rats are coming from and getting in your house, watch this video. And why not, watch this playlist. I was just driving past so I thought I'd have a quick look and it's exactly the same, it's been three weeks and it's all fine, nothing's been disturbed, same around the side, so perfect job done.